The state says right now that scammers are using information from data breaches in order to file fake claims for people who didn't actually file them. Oftentimes people open up their mailbox, they find an envelope with paperwork and a debit card or check for unemployment benefits that they didn't actually file for. There are some new safeguards in place to prevent this from happening. Some would say they may be working a little too well. When are you going to be able to do something about it? Lisa Wolf says she can't file her weekly claim for unemployment, despite sending pictures of her driver's license and a selfie to a company PA uses to make sure she is who she says she is. There should be no issues. If there is an issue, I should be able to video chat just like I'm doing with you. The state has acknowledged new ID verification requirements for unemployment compensation might delay benefits from being mailed or processed. This is what's necessary in order to prevent fraudsters from getting through. The state says unemployment scams can be sophisticated and everyone should take steps to limit risk from identity theft. That's because scammers can do more than just file fake unemployment claims. Regularly monitor your financial accounts and review your credit report to ensure the information is accurate. The state says it's been able to prevent more than $1 billion worth of money for fraudulent unemployment claims from being mailed out or deposited into the accounts of fraudsters. But this is no solace to the people who are on the backlog of unresolved unemployment claims right now.